right, the starter pack of LEGO Dimensions. Uh, it's pretty expensive. This is the back side, you can see Ghostbusters, Lord of the Rings, LEGO Movie, Back to the Future, Portal. Well, I got all, almost all of them. And Doctor Who comes out later in of beginning of November. And uh, the Ghostbusters, I believe, next year. But I have got most of these guys, as you can see here. Uh, most of them are from Lord of Strings. I just had to have them. Uh, well, the Lego movies only uh, Wild Style. And Simpsons, I only have Home Simpson because I don't think the others are released yet. So I will do buy those as well. Well, in check instruction manual uh, when you need help. Well, here you can see uh, the Blu-ray uh, cover, the back side of it, just normal. It's not that much, not, not much detail in this. Nothing on the back and this it's just instructions. Okay, then uh, now we yeah, now we got the base where all the Lego uh, the characters uh, are going to be uh, placed at on the portal. Now, let's uh, open this, the portal itself, with the characters, yes, a lot of bricks, okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna go past all these pages, a lot of pages, a lot, a lot of steps, 28 steps. Okay, let's uh, start with Wildstyle first, I'm just showing her head. I am forgetting one thing though, and that's uh, that is her backpack, which I will add on later <laughs> when I find it out. Uh, yeah, so uh, I also did an unboxing of Disney Infinity, and you can uh, uh, enter the co giveaway contents by just uh, liking the video and uh, commenting on it. I'm gonna close it up very soon, as. Uh, I have given a lot of time, almost a month I think, and it's only uh, two set pieces, so not that much, and web code of course, so I can make free people happy. Yeah, so I forgot about the cape with Gandalf, so yeah, <laughs> I have to, uh, to remove his head. So. Right, so that was uh, Gandalf and Wildstyle now. Let's uh, place her on uh, what it's called, just the base, I think. <laughs> and now uh, we do Batman. You can see he uh, has two hats as well. Here I realized I missed the backpack. Okay. Now we have Batman, Cape, and his hat. Oh, I don't think, yeah, you <laughs> can't really see it. But uh, he had different uh, kind of mouths. Okay, it's better ring. Set the uh, the orange thing is a brick sub separator. Well, I don't really you don't really need it, but it's helpful if uh, you're stuck and uh, you can't remove the Lego piece. Well, we start with. Uh, of step one is the base, and it's kind of weird that it says one on the on the back, but you also need the second one, so I have to separate those. Well, and, uh, also using the stickers. Step four already, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna speed this up a lot because uh, otherwise it would have been almost an hour, <laughs> and then I would have to separate. The video so it's part one part two three this way is way better I think and it's more f fun to see I think instead of just watching me uh, building it slowly and searching for the Lego blocks so <laughs> because that's another thing with Lego you have to always find it somewhere in the all the Lego pieces and you're not sure where it is 
It could have been in the other bag, so yeah. Another sticker here. On the other side now as well. Which as you can see on the right is uh, that I have a lot more boxes. And that's for uh, all the other level packs and fun packs. Like uh, Jurassic World, uh, well, Love Drinks as I said. Um, a Wicked Witch of uh, the West. And Simpsons of course with uh, Homer Simpson and uh, where you get the car. Back to the future. Yeah, a lot. It was around 300 euros for me. So it was really expensive, so I hope you still like it. Made me think to uh, do the unboxing video for it, as it was really expensive. And I really hope you like it. I couldn't find one piece and that's a round thing. Yeah, the other back, as you can see, uh, was uh, of the Batman mobile. The Batmobile, <laughs> sorry, um, yeah, and yeah, I saw that in the uh, Batmobile thing. As you could see that uh, grey uh, round thing, but later I found it somewhere in the <laughs> on the left. So yeah, I didn't need to open that uh, bag, but luckily I found it uh, right on time. Right, so yeah, step 16, which goes on the back, and uh, it's for the portal, so it can get on it. And it's that way; it's easy to attach and detach. And this is just from the back side. And later, I found out in the game that you can uh, remove it and put on the portal itself. So that's kind of a <laughs> cool detail. You don't really have to change it, but. Well, I, I do it anyway, because it's just, yeah, <laughs> it adds something to the game. Uh, here we start with the portal itself. And, uh, well, first you have to uh, put them on the right side, not uh, go the other way. You have to make it around. With the kind of, uh, yeah, blue uh, A's. What I really like with the uh, Lego Mansion is that uh, even though it uh, has uh, a lot of rings and uh, Batman, it also included the uh, portal, which is really strange. And well, I wasn't expecting Doctor Who, so I really like that one. Okay, and this is just for more detail on the portal itself. With the blue uh, around, yeah, are those buttons. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Normally I do live commentary, I actually did live commentary with this one, but it turns out it was about 15, uh, 15 minutes and that's just way too much, so I really had to cut it out and edit it and remove my commentary, so it's a bit shame I could have used it, but who would watch that unboxing video? I don't think anyone would, I, I would do that. Okay, now we can uh, almost attach it on the base itself. As you can see here, at the back of the base itself, just put it on. But first we have to uh, use another sticker, that's on uh, the portal device. I like the idea with the LEGO Dimension that you can have many characters at once and not like Disney Infinity or Skylanders that you have can only put one or, uh, one or two. I wasn't expecting that, I, w I expected that only two of them actually. But it would have been better if it had more space because uh, you have to switch places a few times in the game. And then, well, I play with all, almost all the characters I can. Then I have to remove one and then, yeah, I have to switch places. <laughs> so that's a little bit tricky, but it's better to have this option than only two of them. That's what's uh, left out. Uh, I'm not sure why I always... <laughs> I don't know if I missed something or that it's used to, uh, or it should have been like that. Like you have some spare parts because sometimes Lego misses something, and well, it's not something you can get easily. Otherwise, you have to contact them. So yeah, 
so that's probably the case. And now, well, let's see with the Batmobile, it's the base of the car itself. What is odd though is that I have to I have to Google it to get an instruction manual because they want you to play the game and then do this. But yeah, I don't want that. I want to have to include it in the unboxing video. So that's weird. Would have been better if it was optional and uh, just do it this way. This is so weird to not do a live commentary. <laughs> It's just weird to see myself building it and then <laughs> I have to commentate on that. Okay, so I'm already pretty far. I have the backside on the, of the Batmobile done. And now the sides of the car. And then on, I think the last part will be the wheels. So yeah, it's not really looking like a car at the moment. But it's getting better now. Then we. Uh, Touch the orange, uh, yeah, orange Lego buttons. So you uh, see it as the uh, windows, the windows of the car, and the bed ranks on it, and then on the, the back of the car, like uh, laser beams. <laughs> the, yeah, I really like that. It's just Lego. You can actually play it as Lego. Uh, the important thing about LEGO Dimension is the base itself, the car. So you actually can bypass all of this and just play uh, the game with the bases. Though you can't really recognize what is what. But yeah, you don't really have to have them, only the base itself. So that's the important thing of LEGO Dimensions, the base. And then get on the base, and on the LEGO brick. It is also... Uh, bluish uh, yeah now the wheels just run things then uh, it's all done and there's more to come as I will unbox the rest of it all the level packs and fun packs so yeah there's gonna be a lot of videos more but those will won't be uh, as long as this one that is for sure yeah <laughs> well it works as a normal car I hope you like it, even though it wasn't live commentary, but yeah, I didn't see another way. So yeah, thanks for watching.